I'm Helen from Enact, and this Learning Into Action moment will focus on our stress response and how that impacts communication. Hello, you wanted to speak to someone about a recent purchase? Oh, finally! This whole thing's a joke. No one's listening. I and quite frankly, I'm disgusted how I've been pushed from pillar to post from the start. I, 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 I do apologise. Oh, finally, somebody apologising. OK, um, we're just going to check in with Mark's character, Alex. Alex, how are you feeling? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I feel nervous. I, 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 I feel like I've been caught off guard. Right. Okay, so we could say that Alex is currently experiencing what we might call is an amygdala hijack. So he potentially has gone into freeze mode. We've also got Simon here playing the role of David. We could argue that they've gone into to fight mode. You can relax now. We can diffuse that tension. <laughs> um, okay, so when a person feels stressed or afraid, the amygdala releases stress hormones that prepare the body to go into fight, flight or freeze mode. And this can impact things like the ability to maintain rational thought or make decisions. It can also hinder your perspective. It's difficult to see a viewpoint other than your own and it can also impact your memory and recall. Being aware is the first step to taking control. Have a look at our website for more details on the amygdala hijack.